All right, guys. Today we have a project. Uh, a couple goodies from uh, Metal Cloak finally came in for my Jeep. So uh, today we're going to install what we can. But um, let me turn this camera around and show you what we got today. First off, we have the lower outboard shock relocation brackets to move them out so they don't hit the springs. Then we have a steering stabilizer relocation. And then we have the front axle disconnect skid plate and the sector shaft brace. Those are the things we've got today. So if I sound funny, I've been a little under the weather this week. My uh, wonderful children on the last day of school brought home a uh, flu bug. So, you know, it is what it is. We still got to work. So we're going to get to work on uh, the Jeep today. I'll get this thing up on jack stands and we'll get the wheels off and get going. All right, guys, we are back. As you can see, I got the wheel off. And uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, we're going to start on this shock right here first. Uh, get the bottom bracket off and uh, the, the purpose of this bracket, it moves it out and over to the side and gets it away from the coil spring under heavy articulation and whatnot. It will actually rub. I've rubbed it a couple of times. That's what she said. <laughs> Doesn't rub much, but the brackets are cheap. You know, 70 bucks guarantees your shock don't rub on the th anything. So we are going to get started on this and uh, get going so that we can get this done. I apologize. This really isn't a how to video. I just thought you guys might uh, enjoy watching, learning, seeing how this works. So anyway, this is the bracket goes down in here on the bottom, mounts right up, piece of cake, and uh, kicks, your, kicks your shock out. Here, let me, uh, let me bring you guys a little closer. Yeah, like I said, the bracket comes down here at the bottom, mounts just like that. This part goes on the original shock bracket, and then as you can see, your shock turns 90 degrees, mounts out here, and it moves it out Instead of being here, it moves it out about an inch. Not a whole lot, but it doesn't take a whole lot to keep it from rubbing. So uh, anyway, I'm going to kill the camera for a minute while I take these bolts off because you guys don't need to hear that loud noise. We got the shock all disconnected now, and uh, we're getting the parts bag open here. Dump it out here on my little, little tool pouch. Anyway, so you get down in here, and this is a brake mount line, holds this little bracket in. They have you drill that out to a 3 8 um, and then they have you drill out this hole here, at the bottom of the shock mount to a 3 8 So that when you mount this up, you got a bolt that goes through here, and then you got a bolt that goes through here, like this, so that it uh, is very, very secure and solid for your shocks. As you can see, you drill out this bracket here, you put that bolt in there, and then uh, down here, you've got another mounting bolt down here, and then using the original shock hardware and this spacer, put that through there. So you drill this hole out, 3 8 and um, your, uh, then you'll zip tie your brake line bracket and sensor bracket back into place. That's what it says in the instructions is to zip tie it. But uh, once you get it all loosely installed like this, we go back through and we tighten everything down and then we install the shock and uh, rinse, wash, repeat on the other side. So uh, let me get this all buttoned up because you guys absolutely don't want to hear impacts go into town. So anyway, we'll be right back. So as you can see, you uh, you drill that out, 
and then um, I drilled the second hole here to zip tie the brake line back in place. So the brake line's all good. But you, um, that's where your old shock used to be, right there. And now it comes around and moves over here. And if you notice, it moves it out, and now it doesn't. Now it's got more space here, and it's turned so it, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm babbling. Um, it all uh, mounts up. So as you guys can see, I've got metal cloak, pro alignment drop bracket, metal cloak control arms. So yeah, I've been enjoying the metal cloak stuff quite a bit. Really good stuff. Uh, upgrading a few things here and there as I come across it. So we're going to move to the uh, steering stabilizer relocation and the FAD front axle disconnect plate. We're going to do those next. And then we'll go over to the other side and do the last shock mount. All right, guys. So since to do the steering stabilizer relocation, you have to undo the track bar. I wasn't going to go that far today, but since I am, since I have to take the track bar off, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, track bar mount brace while I got it apart. Might as well, I've got all that far apart. So I'm going to get the rest of this taken apart real quick with the uh, electric impact. And then uh, once I got it all apart, I'll come back real quick and uh, show you guys all you have to take apart and where we're at there. All right, guys, just a quick disassembly thing. So you take out these three steering gearbox bolts, but leave that one. Uh, the bracket, as you can see, just goes up there and bolts to so those three so you don't lose your gearbox stays in place. And then you got to undo the track bar bolt here and because I had to undo the track bar bolt over there to uh, do the steering stabilizer relocation it's all apart so might as well just get this done too so I'm gonna get this back together with the bracket on it and then you gotta drill two holes for nut zerts up from the bottom and uh, from there uh, we'll be right back okay guys I'm back again um, so, you got to drill two holes up, and we're going to put nut certs in them, and you got to drill them out to 11 sixteenths. So, I recommend, it makes it easy and simple to not over drill, put a piece of tape on your step bit where you need to stop at, so when you get to the tape, you know to stop. So, I'm going to get these two nut certs in. And then uh, we can put this back together. All right, guys, uh, that took a minute. Uh, wound up getting more involved than I thought. So anyway, that's all installed. The track bar brace, everything's in place where it belongs. Uh, you had to drill these two holes here. So once we drilled those holes, got them all set up, everything went nice and smooth. Uh, we're uh, working on the uh, front axle disconnect skid plate and the shock relocation bracket next and then uh, we should be done uh, lucky for me my brother just got home from work so he can help me get it done while I was over here I went ahead and did this one real quick same as the other side drill this hole out there and um, then you got a bolt that goes down here and then you got your original shock bolt through there and your one through there and I know what you guys are going to say, I put this on backwards, so yes, I'm going to unbolt it and uh, put it on the right way. So, be back with you in a minute. Alright guys, uh, that kind of accelerated quickly, but I got a call for a rescue, so I had to hurry, so I didn't do much filming. But, if you look, there's the relocation bracket, there is the uh, front axle disconnect skid plate, and uh, you saw everything else on, so I'm going to get my tires on and... Uh, Next time you see me, we'll be pulling a guy out of the mud.